Part C. In a science lab, two containers are filled with mixtures. The first container is filled with a mixture that is 30% acid. The second container is filled with a mixture that is 50% acid. The second container is 50% larger than the first. The first and second containers are then emptied into a third container. What percent of the mixed liquid is pure acid? I know that the first container is 30% acid. The second container is 50% acid, and I know it's also 50% larger than that first container. I don't know how big the containers are. That's okay. When I take the third container, I want to figure out what percent is pure acid. So I know when I take blue, in this case, sorry about that, and I add it to my green amount, I'm going to get some other amount that I'm using to represent with purple. So my first container, I don't know how big it is. I'm going to say it's 100% of itself. And it's 30% acid. My second container is 50% larger than the first. So I can think of it as 150% because I'm using my first as my basis. My first is the whole that I'm talking about. So my second container is 150% of the first since it's 50% larger. And it is half acid. When I add those together, I get some other container and I don't know how much acid it is. And that's what I'm trying to figure out. Since this 100% referred to this blue circle as a whole, and this 150% also referred to this blue circle as a whole, I can add those percents. And that'll give me 250%. If that confuses you, let's work backwards. We could have picked any numbers for our scale. All we know is that the first container is filled with a mixture that's 30% acid, and also the second is 50% larger than the first. So if I had said the first container was two, the second container would have had to, been, had to have been three, because that's 50% larger. And if I had used two and three, this container would have had to been had to have been five. I'm just using percents to scale them differently. It does not matter which way you, you write it. I'm going to stick with the percents. When I add these together, the blue and the green, I get the purple. Now it's time to multiply these percents. This blue is represented by 100%, which is one times 0 0.3. The green is represented by 150%, or 1.5, times 50%. And when I add them together, I get the purple, which is 250 times 250% the size of number one. So two and a half times as big. And we don't know what percent of it is acid. And there's my equation. Now I'll need to solve. One times 0.3 is 0.3. Half of one and a half is 0 0.75, and that's going to be equal to 2.5x. When I combine like terms on the left-hand side, 0.3 plus 0.75 is 1.05, which is equal to 2.5x. To finish solving, I'll divide both sides by 2.5. That gives me x on the left, or x on the right, rather, and on the left, I'll have 1.05 divided by 2.5, which is 0 0.42. So that means 42% of our final mixture must be pure acid.